Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got our favorite little Garmin Guru baby. Yeah, there she is. It's so sweet. <laughs> you were showing off for the camera. Oh, wait at the camera. Oh, oh. Guys, what we're doing today is we're going to take a look at, this is the second look we've done at this. Um, and once again, none of the products that I have here or ever do product reviews on are products I get paid for. If it ever happens that I get paid for something, I will let you know in the comments or in the very first part, no, you're not getting my hat. You're not getting my hat. All right, so here we go. We're going to review Snipe and Braid for the second time. Let's see if we can get that in there. Camera. There it is. We're going to review it for the second time. The first time I had just bought it, it just came out. I seen it on three pound fishing with Matt. And I had, I used it. I went out and used it for sniping. Like it says, I went out and used it for casting roadrunners. And it was a wonderful bait for casting roadrunners. And, and things like that, where you cast out real to them. Um, I, I used it for some um, uh, vertical jigging also, but I found it to be very effective in that type of manner. And then I started reading comments about people talking about they broke it, and I had never broke it. But I wanted to find out and get to the bottom of this. And so, and the second a complaint I did have is how fast the color faded. So I called Matt and I said, hey, Matt, um, finally got a, I went through three pound fishing. We exchanged some numbers and we got to talking. And what he said was, and it made a whole lot of sense. So I went doing a little bit of research and a little bit of testing. <laughs> doing a little bit of searching, a little bit of testing. And what I found was this is not your ordinary tin, uh, your ordinary braid. Uh, this is more along the lines of a fire line type, super line type braid, where you're gonna get lots of sensitivity. Um, you're using this in place of say two pound, three pound monofilament or five pound, or I guess they make five, but the smaller diamond monofilaments, you're still getting abrasion resistance of braid um, but you're not, it's, it's not a 30 pound braid. You're not going to reach down there and jerk your jig up like that. You have to be a little bit cautious as you would with monofilament, but you get the increased sensitivity. Um, I had talked to him about the, the color, uh, fading on it and they have addressed it. They've changed the color a little bit as my baby girl has it here. And so knowing this, I went out and did some more fishing with it, um, used it. And, you know, getting it in the cover and things like that, I never broke it. I have never broken it. Now, some people have told me they broke it. I haven't. I still use a polymer knot. I tie directly. Uh-oh. I tie directly to the line and the bait. But I'll get it. Hold on. I tie directly to the bait. I've had no problems. It has been a great bait for me. I mean, great line for me. Um... And once you understand that you're not fishing with a 30 pound braid, you're using this in place of say a, a small diameter uh, monofilament line, uh -huh. you're using it for increased sensitivity and increased feel, uh -huh. then you know how to use it and more effectively use it. So that was a little bit of research I've done and the testing I've done, it has been great. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Matter of fact, I've got, I went ahead and bought the Pro Spool. Hey, Karma Guru, I've got to get the Pro Spool. Uh, it's 500 yards. I use it a lot. Um, the the test that I've seen is still pretty durable. Um, in terms, of, is it is it um, like say Bra Bur Berkeley X9 braid durable? No, but it's not that kind of braid. It's not a nine strand or 12 strand braid or whatever. This I think is a four strand braid. So uh, uh, not quite as tough, not quite as durable. But that's not what it's designed for. It's designed for smoothness. And it's designed for quietness because a nine braid or nine strand braid going through some line guides makes a heck of a sound. This, it doesn't. This is a lot quieter, more along the lines, sounds of monofilament. Now, it still does, it is braided. So you have to leave yourself, you can't just reel it right up because then it wraps around your line. You definitely don't want to leave it hanging over the side of the boat because then it's going to wrap the tip. Whenever you cast or whenever you're doing something, you're not, you are not—you want to leave yourself a foot or so of space. That way you don't get um, or 
hook it onto the rod in the proper place. That way you don't get a, you can get some knots in a hurry as with any braid. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Remember, baby girl, tell them about it. Tell wave bye. Wave bye bye. Tell them thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Look at that beautiful smile. Mwah. Tell them bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> there we go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.